type dot. I'll go through the steps that I just did, uh, which created the meeting request with the Google Meet link. So I'll just switch to the screen. What I did was in the browser, I went to Google Calendar and by default, that's um, using my public Google account, which I'm always connected with. So I need to switch to um, my Roses Gap account by clicking on that silhouette at the top and then choosing this account. And that brings up a new tab for the calendar. So I still have my public one open, um, but then I've also now got the um, Roses Gap one. So if I went to the 19th, when I was just testing before, I created an event and I clicked on um, making it a Google Meet meeting and then it created this link which is sent out to people and I added it myself. Um, but to show you a full example, if I go back to the, um, the, what's the, the minutes from the meeting, I'll just pause this recording and come back on set. Okay, I'm back now. So yeah, now the next one's April 16th. So if I go forward to April 16th, I can now create an event from 7.45 to 9, so just click on that and type 7.45 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, you don't get the option here to put a video on, but if you click on more options, you can get the full edit screen. So rooms would Meeting and we can say add conferencing. Okay, now it's meet. That creates a unique code for that meeting. And then you add in your guests. So I've used Christopher recently, and I can just add that, but you could type in the addresses of everybody involved and then uh, save. And that will say, Do you want to send the invites to the external guest, which is me? And you say yes. It'll also say because this is a G Suite account. You want to send it outside of the organization, Roses Gap, um, and that's where you want to say yes. And so now that 16th of April meeting has been set. If I go back to my personal calendar and go forward to 16th of April, because I've got the, that address hooked into my Google, I can um, see that, that event appear and I can now um, accept that and say yes. Uh, and then when you're back in the G Suite account looking at that meeting, if I click edit, um, in a few minutes that'll turn to the green tick because my response to that meeting has come through. So there we go. So you can see the green tick there and if I um, click here. So you know when people have accepted the meeting or not um, in there. So that's probably the easiest way to get those, um, the Google Meet address and information um, come through. Now in the email that I would have got for that meeting, uh, I get sent um, the invitation that comes through. And so it's got all the details in there about what to click on for the meeting or a phone number to dial. So, um, and that's the same for the one on the 19th that I created and one for 16th. So that should work for all cases. Um, I'll send you this video and hopefully that helps you out. If not, let me know.